Welcome to another gathering of the Gold Key Adventurers Society. Have a seat by the fire as we prepare to help you unlock the secrets of the travel life. From theme park thrills to Purple Mountain's majesty, we want to see it all and do it all, and we want to help you do the same. We all have those bucket list trips, once in a lifetime destinations that we'll get to someday. We're here to help you make your travel dreams a reality. Buy the ticket, take the trip. Where do you want to go? Come on, come on, come on, now tell me what's on your bucket list. Okay, hey, okay, hey. It's a beautiful day. Okay, hey, okay, hey. It's a beautiful day. Welcome back to another meeting of the Gold Key Adventurer Society. My name is Dan Leonard. Hi, Dan. And joining me this week in the studio is Heather Strait. Hello. And Mr. Jeff Williams. I am here. <laughs> There's a pregnant pause there. I thought you were going to finish that thought. I was, I was waiting for it. That's going to be some really compelling audio for our <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> our show, as always, is brought to you by Key to the World Travel. It Key- sure is. Key to the World Travel is a full-service travel agency specializing in theme parks, cruising, and destinations around the world. Head to www.keytotheworldtravel.com for more details and a no obligation. No sometimes English. Sometimes, sometimes my, <laughs> my tongue has a hard time saying obligation. For more details and a no obligation quote on the vacation of a lifetime. The school year is winding down and we're all getting antsy for summer vacation good news is there's still plenty of time to plan that sunny getaway this week we're going to talk about some ideas for beating the crowds heat and that super expensive airfare so you can focus yeah, there. they're getting higher all the time uh yeah but th- that way all you have to do is focus on relaxing and enjoying your perfect summer vacation oh i figure we can just talk about some of the uh, the popular trendy things that people are doing this year for summer that aren't Let's face it, the headlines for summer travel last year were every, everywhere was hotter than the surface of the sun and very crowded. Let me tell you what I'm doing next week. What are you doing next week, Jeff? I'm driving to the beach. The driving beach. to the beach, a good old-fashioned road trip. I am lucky enough to be within four hours of the Gulf. Gulf Shores? Of Mexico. <clears throat> so we're going down to the Gulf Shores area to Orange Beach. And taking my mom down there, my brother and his wife are joining, or she, they're bringing my mother down there. She's very old, so we're going to get her down there to the beach and let her see that water and get her feet in the sand, and <clears throat> that'll be fun. We're renting a condo and doing that whole bit. We don't get down there all that often, which is weird because we were four, a, four, four or four and a half hours from the beach, So that's always the a good option. condo life, yeah. Yeah. Just going down there for three or four nights. My summer vacation doesn't really fit our (laughs) no-flying theme this week, but it's kind of, it is what a lot of folks are doing this summer. We're going to Scotland, and Europe is the place to be this summer. Europe is hot. But if you can't make it to Europe this summer, there's tons of stuff to do here in the good old United States. Yep, that's true. We've talked about before, I'm a huge fan of the road trip too, Jeff. When you road trip, are you a are you a stop for historical markers and hokum type person, or are you just getting to the Gulf Shores as quick as you can? Depends on no, typically <laughs> not. I when Wyatt was little, we did do that because he had to get out and you know to keep from losing his mind in the car. If it's a shortish thing like four hours, I want to get down there as quick as possible. Nobody's allowed to pee. We just go. <laughs> so you, but you, when I had a little one, we would stop at places so I would, you know, figure out what might be an interesting place to stop. I feel like whatever. that's your style, Dan, that you would you would have every piece of hokum between your home and your destination marked out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I love me a good mystery spot. I love a good uh, weird rock formation. <laughs> yeah. It's I, I wish can... I was more like that. I feel like I don't have long enough of a trip scheduled or time off work or those kinds of things in my life to do that. You're a lady of leisure. 
Just take the well, time. I am nowadays. <laughs> what I'd like to do one time is go somewhere and plot my course along that Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives route. Because I that love be that cool. show and that kind of food, and I would love someday to do that. Well, my brother and I recently, last year, moved my mom from Kansas back to Alabama. <laughs> and when we drove back, I thought, oh, how fun it would be to stop along the way at a couple of those places but then after you know packing and moving a hoarder <laughs> for 10 days all i wanted to do was drive home as quickly as possible so we threw that out the window pretty quickly but i would still love to do that sometime just do an eating trip well yeah and that was one of the ideas that i had to wanted to talk about is pick a theme whether it's you're going to one city to explore something that fits in that theme or if you plan a road trip and go across the country or something you know if there's a certain part of history you're interested in, certain type mm-hmm. of food, hit up diners, go to Kentucky and do the bourbon trail. That's on my list. Yeah. I mean, there's tons of things. When I spent my day in Los Angeles, I was trying to fit too many. <laughs> like I could have spent a too whole day themes. pursuing any of the multiple threads that I was researching in that area. Yeah, LA go. is a great example of every kind of interest that you have like you could do t- i would like to do tiki bars oh, all yeah. over the la and even all the way up into northern california there's a ton of tiki history there oh, that yeah. could be a several day adventure in itself i mean all around the country i've seen guys who they spend their whole year they're just driving around going to the tiki bars every tiki mm-hmm. bar in every state or at least all the best ones we have the For best example. tiki bar right here in grand rapids i don't need to drive Together. We do. You absolutely <laughs> do. But then the, you don't have the history. That's true. Like it yours is, is only four years old, yeah. but That's seeing some point. of the old ones would be really neat. Right. And a lot of them aren't surviving. So you better see them quick. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, a good they point. Are, they are shutting down. Yeah, tiki, urban, so many different things. Like in LA, you could do tiki for a few days. And then you can do, of course, all the Disney history, like Dan got to do a lot of. and a lot of music history. There's, I mean, there's so many different threads you can yeah, go. Record labels and the movie studios, of course. That's right. A lot of that stuff. I've always thought it'd be cool to do Historic Route 66 also. Mm-hmm. And that's another one that those things are disappearing Would quicker you and even quicker. want to consider trying to get your kicks while doing that? I mean, what else does one do on Route 66? I guess that is what you do. Oh, so... So there's this trend in travel, and this is one of the hot travel trends of 2023. Mm. Is uh, have you heard of set jetting? No, I have not. <laughs> Tell us. All right, are you so, dyslexic or is this a new? Thing? I am absolutely not <laughs> dyslexic. This is set jetting, not jet setting. <laughs> so what you do is this is this is travel that's inspired by locations from your favorite TV series. Oh, it can yeah. be movies okay. too, but the I set, get it. Like I get TV it. Set. And it's a lot of, it's kind of inspired, I think, mostly by some of the bigger prestige TV shows. For a while now, people have been flocking to like Croatia, where a lot of the locations from Game of Thrones Mm -hmm. can be found. You know, I've never watched an episode. (laughs) Really? Yes, I do know that. I've heard that. We've heard that one or two times. But one of the shows that really kind of sparked this off last year. Um, was that White Lotus uh, oh, series? Oh, yeah. Where there's, what, two seasons now? And they're working on the third, and each time it's kind of been set in a different, gorgeous, area. tropical yeah. resort. And so people are flocking to the resorts that they visit on that show. Um, yeah, if you were in Hawaii, you could do season one White Lotus. You could see the sets for the locations for Lost. There's some mm-hmm. Jurassic Park in that same region as Lost. Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, people are headed, I mean, even like Yellowstone, I know that headed out to Wyoming, Montana for that big sky country kind of thing is a destination. Disney, Adventures by Disney, but right. just put out a new itinerary that kind of plays into this set jetting thing. It's one of the brand new itineraries that they announced for this year, and it's going to Colombia next year in 2024. 
to see. I always wanted to go. <laughs> probably for different reasons, because this trip is to highlight the regions of the country that inspired Encanto. Um, oh. And so it's going to be an eight day, seven night trip with guided tours in Bogota, visit to a coffee farm. You can learn to make arepas just like Mama Madrigal. If I was going to consider Colombia, I would go with Disney, definitely. I would feel safe going with Disney. Right. But I do have to admit that Colombia has never been on my bucket list for yeah, it kind of gets a bad variety of reasons. <laughs> I want to go there and get one of their famous neckties. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. And so, so it, it gives you an opportunity. Area. They're really high, highlighting the storytelling and the music of the country in this uh, itinerary. So they also announced a couple of other new ones while we're talking about it as well. They're doing an Atlantic coast of Canada and the Maritime Provinces. It's going to be a new trip. So you can go to Nova Scotia, that side of the country, visit a maple farm, learn about the indigenous culture there. And then also there, they've got a New Zealand itinerary. I would love to see I New Zealand. I really would love to see yeah. New Zealand. You'll see all of New Zealand because this is a 12-day trip. Ooh. So I wonder nice. if this is better than Zealand, because it kind of sucked. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Zealand, we have at least Zealand. Zealand I'm familiar here, with. You're in the West Michigan area. Is, oh, you do? We do have is a Zealand, a, yes. A, it's a three-intersection town, and you've seen it all. So yeah, it's Where all of Dan's children were born. Yes. Oh. So. They have a nice hospital. Outside of that, yeah. not a lot going for it. They build furniture there. Uh, but yeah, so, so set jetting. You can that do some set jetting in like New Zealand. Hobbit. I love when I come across the location or whatever of, of somewhere. A lot of times in New York, you'll come across, hey, that's where it was filmed. The, the Ghostbusters fire station I've seen and a bunch of things like that. Very cool. Yeah. 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 Heather mentioned the Hobbit's Friends in Diner. I just saw that in November. Oh, yeah. And I saw in our the, coffee shop. I saw on the map, I was looking at the map for New York City because I'll be there in a couple of months. I saw where the apartment building is. See the friend's apartment? Mm -hmm. Want to? Yeah, with the coffee shop right below. Okay, yeah. So that's on the map. It's probably not going to happen in my itinerary, but if you want to, <laughs> set jetting, that's a lot of fun. You know, we talk a lot about theme parks, but we're also fans of just kind of good old fashioned amusement parks. Yeah, we've got a Those great one bare, not far from us here in Michigan. On the Michigan Adventure? No, actually, I was thinking of Cedar <laughs> Point. But Michigan's Adventure is not a bad day trip. That's There's a yeah. few fun things there. Yeah. I've got Alabama Splash Adventure <laughs> right here by me. That sounds messy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking more of Cedar <laughs> Point <laughs> down in Sandusky, <laughs> Ohio. They have huge, yes. thrilling roller coasters at Cedar Point. Yeah, they're the roller coaster capital of the world, I hear. That's what I've heard. Yeah. That's definitely a great location. There's all those. Is that where flags. President Roller Coaster works? Yeah. <laughs> of course. In the. I have no puns for you. <laughs> Knott's Berry Farm is a location that I eventually love to visit out in here. I went there when I was a tiny lad. Near Disneyland. I would like to visit that one too. It looks. They've got some cool stuff. So, but uh, so yeah. And who doesn't love berries? Six Flags Thanks. Magic Mountain is not far from Disneyland as well, right? They have some mm -hmm. crazy, yes, big thrill rides I out there. there. Before it was acquired by Six Flags, it was just called Magic Mountain. Oh, fun! Right, yeah, and that's one of the less objectionable Six Flags. I think. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. Six Flags tends to be a little on the hit or miss. So yeah, we love a good amusement park vacation talked about themed trips road trips i'm not a fan of driving just like that's that whole hit the open road thing i just yeah. don't love it i like yeah, getting there and i will drive but i just don't like actually being in the car right i understand that 
It's such a quintessentially it American thing. It sounds glamorous and like, I'm going right? to get out here and put my tunes on. And as soon as I do, <laughs> everyone in the car starts talking and like, ugh. That's the problem. Ugh. Everybody else in the car, right? Yeah. So you, you need to pick your car mates more selectively yes. or well. ditch them and go hang out with Guy Fieri on your own. <laughs> That's right. In his Camaro. <laughs> and then I'd have to hear him talking like that all the time. <laughs> You apply for the position as uh, assistant mayor of Flavortown. <laughs> Deputy mayor. <laughs> Deputy <laughs> mayor, yeah. I'm changing my profile with that. I'm the comptroller of Flavortown. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Uh, yep. <laughs> A really hot vacation for this summer that, that we've been noticing is cruising is back, baby. That's right. Cruises are the way to go, especially, you know, a cruise vacation is really an all-inclusive and that's kind of a theme i'm noticing cruise yes, <laughs> for this summer is people want people love a vacation where they've paid for everything and then all they have to worry about on vacation is just relaxing and having fun and like how disney used, used to be, to be. Dining plan. yeah right and has gotten away from that but apart from uh, you know, actual all inclusives in Mexico and Jamaica and some places around the Caribbean. The cruise is kind of the same deal. All your food is included and you've paid for it. And you can drive to a lot of the cruise ports in the US. There's a ton of them in Florida. But if you do want to, you're not afraid of the airfare this summer, flying to a cruise destination is a great idea. And there's a lot of great cruise deals that are still out there right now. Particularly on Royal Caribbean and Virgin. Yeah, Virgin's still paying airfare. Not paying airfare, but reimbursing basically airfare, right? Yeah, there's they if you want to for their European for sailing. their European yeah. sailings on the the res, it's the resilient lady, which is launching. They'll give you up to twelve hundred yeah. bucks towards airfare on any of their I guess they're doing med things. a lot of the Greek Isles and Mediterranean ports this summer. Yep. Also is that the Adriatic? Yes. And that's a, that is a beautiful destination for a summer vacation. I would love to do that. I had pretty much never heard of Dubrovnik, but after <laughs> I was looking at pictures, that looks amazing. It's beautiful. Over there. Yeah. Go look up the, uh, the article, uh, the episode of Somebody Feed Phil, where he visits Adriatic. Huh? So, all those spots that they'll make you more enthusiastic about that location. Yeah, there's still last minute cruise deals to be had. Like we said, Virgin and there's is a, always a putting cruise them out. ports. A lot of people forget about in the U.S. Galveston, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. There's great. So I see always, even with Disney Cruise Line, I see great deals out of Galveston. I'd love to and, visit New Orleans, and you can. I watched the other one, and it's not as much Jacksonville mm -hmm. or wherever that is. Right, and. Those give you an opportunity too to tack on a day or two before or after, do some yeah. exploring around the cities. Which I'm a huge advocate of is kind of taking a look at these destinations, domestic spots that you can go to that you know they're not it's maybe not necessarily be the big beach destination, but you can find amazing things to do. Speaking of history, you New Orleans is a great city to wander around. It's beautiful. I've always wanted to visit. That's on my list of places to visit someday. It's a great family destination. My brother-in-law just took his whole family and kids there, and they got the World War II Museum and world-class aquarium, tons of stuff there for families. And those above-ground cemeteries are just those gorgeous. Look really cool. A lot of ghost tours. Yeah, it's not just you think of it as just gross debauchery for Mardi Gras, and there's that too. But it's a great family. It destination doesn't have to be well. all of it. Is what you're right. saying. Yeah. If you're looking for it, you'll find yeah. it. Yeah, you'll find it. You'll find, but I mean, that's most of these, most, most of these destinations, yeah. that's what you're going to, you're going to find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. around. So that's, unless you're you too. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, and beaches, one if you are a beach person, the United States has a lot of really beautiful of coastline. beaches. Yeah. yeah. That, and some of the beaches maybe you wouldn't consider. That's right. right here uh, in West like Michigan. The vast inland sea. Yes, in Lake our, Michigan that's right, is Midwest. a beautiful beach. And it's salt yes. free, no sharks. Hmm. Some of the top rated 
beaches in America are along Lake Michigan. Near we Saga have the Talk. beautiful white sand without the salt water. That's right. You can and sharks. You can visit the vacation town featured in American Pie when you head to Grand Haven, yes. Michigan. I love Grand so there's Haven. another set jetting. See, we're working on synergy here. Yes. Oh. We have the biggest sand dune in America is Sleeping Bear Dunes. It's a popular spot. Have you ever climbed up Sleeping Bear Dune? I've got a confession to make. I've never been to Sleeping Bear Dune. Oh, I it's don't on my list to go it. to eventually. It's very <laughs> steep. A lot of sand yeah. probably too. I'd like to go there with like a dirt bike or an ATV. I don't think you can do that on that dune. They don't let you get out on dune. There's dunes near there. Near there, there, yes, but they don't want you to erode the biggest dune in (laughs) North America with your dirt bike. I mean, they got plenty of it to spare. Most, like, beaches, they don't let you get on any dunes with that crap down around the Gulf and stuff. Here in Michigan, they're protected. Yeah, there are places here in Michigan. Is it Silver Silver, Lake? Because they're not real. Silver Silver Lake, Lake, there's a lot of dune buggying. And such that happens there. Yeah. That looks like fun. That's because your crap inland seas aren't real <laughs> hey, dunes. Stop it. Lake Michigan what? is beautiful. The Lake Michigan beaches are gorgeous. That's I true. saw you rolling even... your eyes when we brought it up. <laughs> I mean, there's even like, you know, you think of a beach vacation, most people think of heading somewhere like the Gulf Shores mm-hmm. or Florida. Outer Banks or Florida. There's plenty of beaches in New England. Some of them might be rocky and uninviting to the people who want to lay out in the sun but you know still yeah there's still some beautiful locations oh, out there a big great seafood and all That's of that right. stuff you I know, do it's love a different that. kind of experience Be- beautiful views and one of i mean one of the best days i like wearing a parka when i'm at the beach <laughs> one of the best days we Michigan spent a right few now. years ago yeah that's true it's been chilly so but yeah i mean there's beaches everywhere in America. Mm-hmm. You don't I have to just recently go to... have visited several times the down along the A1A in the Fort Lauderdale area. You can sing mm-hmm. Ice Ice Baby while you're cruising along. <laughs> There's a lot. It's really pretty down there. And I, there's lots of great beachfront restaurants where you can have delicious seafood. A lot of butt cheeks. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That does happen. When did that become? But I like that for Fort Lauderdale. Acceptable. You know, Miami is a bit more expensive. 1980. You can find some really great places to stay uh, along those beaches if you venture a little bit further afield of Miami and go with you know, Fort Lauderdale or Hollywood. There's some really great places to stay that are a little less expensive, but still beautiful. Yeah, they beaches. might not be trendy, but like, what do you really need when you're going on a va- beach vacation? That's you need- true. Some clean sand and some water and the sun, right? Yep. So, restaurants. I require nice yeah. restaurants and bars as well. I can't sit on the That's beach true, all day. But... Or even very long <laughs> yeah. of the day. <laughs> Enough of the day to get you between lunch and That's... second lunch. Yes. <laughs> high tea. <laughs> That's right. Then from high tea until the cocktail hour. Yep. <laughs> Go back out on the deck. And also a, a great thing for summer vacation in the U.S. is renting an RV out west. There's a ton of stuff to see out there. And if you're the type who dirt. likes to camp but doesn't really want to be like tent camping, which is not my thing, you can rent a very nice RV for a reasonable amount of money and go see Yellowstone and all of that stuff out there. Mobile glamping. The yeah, I mean, Grand that's one Canyon. thing that we are... Yeah, we are really lucky to have, I mean, the national park system that we have just has some of the most amazing places that you can see, and they're just out there to visit. And you don't have to, you know, you're not going to be hiking miles and miles to go see this wonderful view, driving Mm -hmm. through the park and getting out of the parking lot and walk maybe 50 yards to see the most breathtaking thing you've ever seen. Going to be stopped in the road because there's an entire herd of bison running in front of you, and those are a great option to spend spend some time in the summer. You're going to see yeah, amazing things. We should really memories. thank President Woody Harrelson for starting. That. <laughs> sure, that's exactly. I think your the facts one. might be a little bit off, but <laughs> yeah, close enough. Close enough. I'll fix it in post. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> I won't do that. Uh, pretty sure that's right. Yeah, sounds good to me. 
We've got anything else on our list? Any other cool things to do this summer that that might I mean, be just little... get out there and go somewhere? Yeah. We can help you do yeah, any of it. All of those things. That's right. Yeah, anywhere you want to go. I think the one thing cash. that is on my bucket list that's become very trendy recently is luxury train travel and wherever that is. Closer to home, there's a lot of great routes in Canada. Um, Alaska, Alaska Rail has some really cool stuff. Really, really beautiful train travel you can do there in the summer. I, my bucket list definitely includes the Orient Express and some of those really fancy routes in Europe, but we have a lot here in the U.S. too. And yeah. More North There's America. Our Amtrak travel here in the U.S. is not exactly <laughs> what I would call glamorous. But yeah, I, don't, I want to no. take a train through Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> no. But up in, in the Canadian Rockies and in Canada and British Columbia, they have some great that what's the one line called the rocky mountain is it the rocky, the rocky Mountain near is that it yes that yeah. one and that one starts i think is that the one that starts in vancouver and then comes down through the pacific northwest mm-hmm. yeah that looks sick yeah and they just like you s- sit on a train and eat amazing food and look out the window at amazing sights the entire time it's when really i was cool. eight years old we were moving back from we'd lived overseas and we're moving back to Alabama and we flew into Seattle and then took the train all the way across the country zigzagging up and down and really down because we went all over the place then wound up in Alabama and just spent two weeks riding the train all up and down we'd stop at certain cities for a couple of days and then just did train all the way across and had everything from normal seats to some of those little cars like Harry Potter's little car. And <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Everything in between. It was great. And but we were in the dining car and the observation car with the glass thing and the diner cars. And it was really a very memorable trip for me and my brothers. And I would love to do that again someday. That's some of what I'm really yeah. looking forward to in Scotland this summer is we're taking the train from Edinburgh to Inverness and then Inverness to Glasgow. I'm excited about that part. They're not super long. I think each leg is only about four hours, but looking at the scenery that you see on those trips is just, it's, I'm really excited about that. Tick, TikToks where it's train trips in, I guess it's the Alps. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just yeah. Like these amazing uh-huh. train vistas through the Alps. Oh, my God. That I sounds do cool. That. Just like rounds the corner. It's like the most Oof. beautiful green mountain mm-hmm. views you've ever seen through these little this little farms and stuff. Like, I want to go on whatever train that yeah. is. It's not in an insignificant amount of money to get to Europe right now from here. Airfare is high this summer. Got to be at least yeah. 40 bucks a person. But once you're there, there's so much you can do with train travel. So many places mm-hmm. you can pick a, a central spot to start. And then they have just, they know how to handle trains. So many high mm-hmm. speed trains from Paris, you can get to England and down to Italy. It probably occurs and to them to Brussels maintain them and, yeah. every now and then. Too. Yes, that's also true. Yeah. We have some it's struggles definitely a with great that. way to get around the continent. Be able to For see sure. As many places as you can fit into whatever. Mm-hmm. Someday I'd love to do option. that. There is a London to Edinburgh on the Royal Scotsman. That looks very cool and kind of posh. Do you like posh? I do. I do. Mm. I want to travel from between London and Edinburgh the way the Queen did mm. on her own personal train. One, it's one of the things I'm going to do in Edinburgh this summer is go see the royal yacht that's parked and is now a museum. The Britannia. This Britannia. is Britannia. Yes. I like stuff like that. You need well, to see. Aren't you fancy? I'm an Anglophile. It must be nice to be a billionaire. <laughs> it would be nice. Then I'd be going to space this summer if I was a billionaire. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> true. If only we could all be Bond villains. Yes. That's my goal by for my life. I want to end up Bond villain rich like Elon. <laughs> yeah, but not an asshole. Yeah, yeah. I want to be fun loving like Richard Branson. Yeah. yeah. 
I just want to be friends with Richard. Yes, that's fair. Close enough friends that he'll invite me to do cool. Yeah, go yeah. do all the stuff. <laughs> I don't have to be responsible for running a multi-billion dollar business empire. That's a good point. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right now, I'm going to say thanks for hanging out with us again. If you're excited to plan the summer vacation of your dreams or anywhere else around the world any other time of year, Key to the World Travel has the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon full of expert travel planners, and they're ready to make your vacation dreams a reality. Head to www.keytotheworldtravel.com to get started with a no-obligation quote. Word of mouth is the best way to help us grow our show. If you have a friend or two who you think would appreciate our special brand of globetrotting jackassery, tell them what makes our show so great and send them our way. You can find links to subscribe to the show on your favorite apps and all the latest updates at www.goldkeyadventures.com. Can't wait to hang out with you again, and we'll see you real soon. Hi, guys. Y'all come back now, you hear? To ask a question or share your travel story, you can reach us by smoke signal, carrier pigeon, or send an email to goldkeyadventurers at gmail.com. And make sure you follow the Gold Key Adventures Society on Facebook and Instagram. A huge thanks to our sponsor, Key to the World Travel. For all your travel planning needs, visit www.keytotheworldtravel.com for a free quote and help planning the trip of a lifetime. Tell them the gold Key Adventurers sent you. That's www.keytotheworldtravel.com. Key to the World Travel, your key to a magical vacation. Thanks to Outer Vibe for the use of their song Hoka Hey for the intro and outro of our show. Find them on Facebook at The Outer Vibe or check out www.outervibe.com for tour dates, music, merch, and more. We'll see you next week for another meeting of the Gold Key Adventure Society. And until then, remember, life is short and the world is wide. So go have an adventure.